Hi everyone, a quick cardboard cell pickup, cardboard hole pickup video today being the 16th of September 2018, Sunday the 16th of September 2018 and this is, uh, these are some of the stuff I picked up today from my local cardboard cell which um, if you want to know where do I, I go to pick up this stuff you can always uh, drop me a comment and I'll put it on the comment list where I go for these sort of stuff right my usual stuff um, most of this stuff I am not going to I'm gonna tell you how much I I pick them up for uh, you can find out if you log into my um, eBay uh, account or eBay sorry not the account eBay store buy sell second hand I leave a link I will put a link in the description so you can go and check it out how much I am selling them for and how much profit I'm making on those so it's it's not good for me just to go on and tell you how much I buy it for how much I sell it for you know the score just click the link go in there Check it out for yourself and it help you, you can find out what other stuff I'm selling and that way we are all happy and punky dory. Most of the, uh, as you, I'm sure you were, a lot of eBay sellers do not want you to know about their eBay store, but I am not like this. You know, I don't mind telling people my things, you know, I, I don't keep it as a secret. It's best you go and check it out. And if it helps you, in, in that sense, I get a reward, right? So there will be always a link to my eBay store. And that link also contains my affiliated link. So if you go through and buy any product from eBay, and hopefully I will get some reward means I'll get a, uh, a few pence out of them. So I can go on next time I go in this cold weather, I can get a cup of coffee or tea. Same thing with Amazon. I'll put a link. Or the Amazon if you buy on Amazon please kindly use my link if you buy on eBay please use my link for the eBay eBay link will be within my shop as you go to enter check my shop if you do buy anything not from my shop you can buy from anywhere else in eBay but I will end up getting a commission for it lovely so apart from that let's go and crack on with the video right so these are the things like recently I've moved on from the the 199 and 299s of your world into moving in a slightly different direction now. So I tend to pick up a lot of um, uh, cordless phone and what I'm going to tell you is how much I paid for it and you know how much they sell for it. Please go and check it up in my shop. You'll find it. You'll look uh, whenever you go into my shop, click the, the sold listing and they will come up. So you know exactly how much I'm paying selling for uh, these three uh, this one is VT British Telecom Deco as uh, so I think the model number 220 let's turn it over yeah it's 2200 model number um, I sold them before on my I have a drop shipping site I sold that a couple of those there uh, and you can check it out that one and this is a one hand handset one just a handset type of BT Dio that one and BT uh, two, what number is this let's have a look again cordless uh, on its own okay let's zoom into this okay right uh, 8610 single digital cordless that one and this one BT graphite right okay so what I did I saw one seller selling these uh, one two three four of those I went and I want to discuss the price on this one so she goes five pound for this deco and since I noticed she told me she, she's got a few other phones and I said since she wants five pound for this one I said to her how about um, all of them together she says 12 quid and instantly I did not want to um pursue on buttering and hackling i said okay i accept it i thought that was very reasonable so i bought it for 12 pound 
for four sets of telephone. And the next item is a the musical lullaby that you put in a little baby's coat, you know, coat, and this and this makes a music. Let's play that music. Oh. Let's turn it on. There you go, you can hear it. There, there you go. You push little little ones to sleep. Uh, so the thing is, recently I've sold one. Uh, and you're not gonna believe this. Uh, the courier company actually broke the uh, uh, the tip of this the hook, so that was great. So I had to refund the customer. They were great people, so I had no issue there. Right now, next uh, set of telephone is Binatone. Now went to a store, noticed this, and she had. I thought I was buying just this pair, just one of these. And she wanted five quid, and I thought, bit stiff on five quid. I said, do you take any of us? Then she turned around and said, no, this is the only one. You have two more. I said, I can't believe this. So I just picked the lot up for three pounds. And I'm sure I've told uh, everyone in uh, earlier videos, even if they don't work, I can make use of the base. I will sell the base separate. I will sell. I could sell the charger separate, so I don't need to worry about if you, if they don't work. There we go. Right. Next item is a karaoke. Now I've sold a few of those before, not this type, um, but I sold early landing center ones, and this one's called Lexi Book. I haven't come across this one, so I have to put the battery on see if it works. But they're going about 18, 19 pounds. So I paid two pounds for that one. And another thing here, the same seller. Uh, pound for this is like Bop It. You know the the, the handheld electric game, electronic game called Bop It, Smash It, that type of thing. So for a pound. Can't go wrong there. Next item is a crawl and learn. I normally I've this is a VTEC one. It makes uh, this rolled. Let me show you. Let me just turn it on a bit and see it. where is the button here. I'm just looking for the button. There we go. There we go. As you can see. There, there, there you go. 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 There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, it's working, fully working. Okay, the last one I sold uh, last uh, just about a week ago, the problem was, yeah, again, the courier service really messed it up. It's fully working, and you know, when they toss it, this private company keeps tossing things, and they really tossed it big time, so I had to again refund the, the, the buyer. Here, now, I stopped doing um, clothing. I don't buy jeans and things like that. But this pair, I could not believe that it was absolutely brand new. Absolutely brand new. Pair of True Religion Buddha. Uh, now, True Religion is an American company. It's not Japanese. I thought it was Japanese before when I started. And over the years, I have sold a couple of pairs. And I decided this is a lady size, skinny size, size uh, 8 to 10, uh, 28 inch. Right, immaculate. Paid eight quid for it. Uh, and again, you're looking about 18, 19, 20 quid back easily. Uh, there we are. So that's uh, True Religion Buddha jeans. Uh, next item. Now, I'm surprised. I saw a guy just left this phone. Sorry, not phone, camera. And I thought to myself, just a camera. And then I asked him, uh, have you have the other piece and recent piece that goes with this? He said, yes. I was shocked. This is the GE uh, General Electric Digital Camera. Now he has, comes up, comes with, look, a casing here. You got the USB uh, cable that uh, you transfer your photos into your PC or computer. You have the charger cable, look. You've got the charger cable. 
yeah charging cable here and charging platform you got the charging battery here look the battery um now is you, you have a storage space here you can put up to one gig or something you said or probably more than you know has a really really good uh, memory system you know you can really put up uh, and is it is believe it or not uh, 8 megapixel so it's very good paid 2 quid for it and these are the other bits and pieces goes with that and the same seller was selling the Star Wars set of four mini glasses Disney Star Wars yeah and so I paid Two quid for the camera, three quid for that. And that's the um, that goes with that. And here, you see, with that Benetton, actually, believe it or not, she has actually given me a a box goes with that. So that's fantastic when you think about it. There's a box goes with that. Okay, here we are. Now next bit here is my usual uh, trainers. Now I approached the guy. And I looked at this pair, attracted me this uh, pair of Nike. As you can see, it's orange and grey and it, it tells me it's a gym uh, trainer. Right, and it's uh, Zoo Cashlon or something it's called. It's a good size. Let's have a look at it. The size, I think nine and a half, I reckon this one is. Yeah, nine and a half. Okay, nine and a half. Right, so I started um, pricing on this pair, particular pair. So he said he want, uh, wanted um, eight quid for it. Right. Then I looked around and he had a couple of these pairs. You got one pair, another pair, and another pair. And this is a Puma pair. And this is a Nike Air Max, I think. And so I was interested in all of them. So I said to him, what about instead of, so I asked for the, these individual prices, so he's coming out ridiculous prices, 10 for this, 12 for this, and something like silly as again, 10 for that. I said to uh, him, look, listen, I have no time to waste. I don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste my time. But what if I said to you, 30 quid for uh, the four pair? And he accepted it. So that was a good thing. Uh, 30 quid. For the boy, you know, pair of four of those, it just works about seven pounds something, seven pound fifty around that, that sort of mark, anyway. Yeah, so no less than seven pounds something, you know, it's not going to be fifty, even even cheaper than that, anyway. So now this one particularly, this uh, this um, Nike uh, Air Force, I have not seen that before because this is the first time I've actually seen this this pair. Look, it says Nike Air Force Two, and I haven't come across this. Because I'm, you know, all the time I'm buying trainers from Kabul, so I haven't come across this pair. So before I list it, I will have to make sure to do my homework on those. But he assured me all of these pairs are, are sought after. And this guy knows about his trainers. The one he had on is worth 200 quid worth of uh, trainer he was wearing. So he knows his trainer. And this one, Puma one here, I think, is size, a good size, size, uh, what size is this? UK 10, yeah, is it 10? Let's have a look. Oh, let me focus a bit more. Oh, it's gone all blurry, isn't it? Oh, great, and that's what you need. So that one size, size 10. Um, the next one is UK 10. And this one, uh, the orange one, nine and a half, and the Air Max one, Air Max, yeah, that's uh, nine and a half. Right, so the higher the the size are, the more chance of you selling it. Now, uh, I've noticed with men's shoes, you know, if you're selling men's shoes, make sure they're beyond eight, you know, nine, ten, eleven, even twelve, you can sell them. And make sure they're high, high, higher, high on the size wise. You know, don't go and buy size five and five and a half or lady size. You're not gonna sell them. Simple as that. So seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
uh, seven, yeah. But don't ever buy six, you're not gonna sell it. Right, okay. So, oh, sorry, I forgot, I had a few other pieces and pieces here. Oh, this was, these three I picked it up earlier on, on um, from a charity shop. Bakaru, usual, they go fast, I sell them all the time. So, no issue, this is the only board games I do sell, right, Bakaru, uh, good seller. And I've sold Mo Mo Monogomi, yeah, the adult game, once or twice, yeah, so that's another good seller. Right, and this one, you are not going to believe this. I picked this up the charity shop. Right, this is a Sony um, Jog Proof Digital Megabar CD RD. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, personal uh, CD player, right? Okay, CD Walkman. Look, it's brand new in the pack. Okay. Um, this is I've already listed and I've already sold it. And this is just adding up to my today's listing, just, just to show you. And I will be telling you, this is maybe shocking. You can go and log into my buy, sell, second hand account and find out how much I just sold that for. But I might as well tell you, I paid six quid for it and I got back 75 pounds. 75 pounds for this. I paid six quid. Okay, now how do I get the 75 pound back, 75 quid back? It's simply I've noticed one more, uh, one item was sold for 79 pound and 99 pence, 8 pound something PNP, and that was sold. So I had to, because I don't pay, I don't charge for PNP, so I said no, 75 quid is more than enough. And I have got the 75 pound. So I'm posting that tomorrow, so that's gone. Right, and the last thing I'm going to show you, I haven't, um, I just stopped, uh, I stopped uh, bringing in books because I, I, I don't have, I, unless they're Harry Potter good ones, I don't buy books, you know, just, uh, it's not my thing. Anyway, but I've sold, uh, in the past I have sold Thomas and the, and friends and Thomas the Tang Indian books, but this one, is the altered collection of Thomas the Tank Engine. A fantastic condition. Absolutely fantastic condition. The only thing wrong with this, right, is £195 in. I think they're selling it, they sell it at £195 or something. Yeah. But the books is immaculate, all the books inside. It's absolutely brand new. Look. Like the one thing I'll show you. Uh, sorry, let me get it out of the case. There we are. I got it out of the case, look. Never been touched. Okay. But what I've noticed is if I pull this one, right, here we go. Now, if I look at this here, as you can see, there's some books missing. And that's the problem here, look. There is some books missing. They're supposed to have 65 books, right? 65 books. And there was some missing. I think we're looking about three or three books missing here. So now there goes my winning ticket. Now I can't sell it as a complete set, can I? But I'm sure somebody will buy it. But I'm not sure what to price to put. So I have a I have a look at it. but this is quite heavy, you know, it's very heavy. Now you're looking about, I don't know, it's more than, easily more than you're looking at 5 kilos or something, easy, easy between 3, three kilos and 5 kilos or so, the, that kind of, it's easily fall in that bracket of uh, over 2 kilos to 5 kilos, so you're looking at about 7 pounds just to post it, so bear in mind the post cost and eBay fin and PayPal fee, I have to look into this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Uh, I hope uh, you liked uh, the things I've showed you. Please go through my listing on the eBay, click the link below my shop link, go in there, check it out and
you know hopefully i hope to out see i do not hide anything you can go in my shop and check all the prices i want you can buy you know basically go or look what i'm selling and buy the same thing and sell it simple as that and if you do buy anything from through my links going into my shop buy something in ebay i'll end up getting a bit of commission the same thing appears on the amazon link if you press the link go in there buy anything from amazon anywhere i get a bit of commission and hopefully it helped me out a bit once again please please make sure you subscribe click the like button and comment once again thank you so much